Here's why you should do real-time web applications with Go and HTMX. First, WebSockets are an essential part of any real-time web application. And implementing a WebSocket server with Go is very simple. We have the benefit of the Go's concurrency model, with routines and channels making it very easy to spawn background processes and communicate between them. This is essential since we want to have a long-lived process that is able to both read and send messages via WebSocket. We also have the benefit of the Go ecosystem since it is very strong when it comes to web development and we can use, for example, the Gorilla WebSocket package to be able to implement the WebSocket server without having to do everything from scratch. And while HTMX is mostly known for making it simple to build CRUD web applications, its WebSocket connection makes it very simple to connect to a server, send messages, and also update the DOM with messages coming from the server. To use the extension, we only need to add two to three attributes, the third one only being necessary if we also want to send messages to the server. It already has built-in retry logic when a WebSocket connection is disconnected, and it also provides great integration with the browser's events, meaning we can listen, for example, when a WebSocket connection is either connected or disconnected, and show different UI states based on those events. Here, for example, we have a Pomodoro timer that is running completely on a server, and all the changes are being communicated to the browser and updated with HTMX. And if, for example, I redeploy the web application which makes the server restart we'll see a message saying attempting to reconnect for a brief period after which the connection will be re-established and the timer will continue running 